All right, here's a closer look at Kauffman Stadium by the numbers. Ground was broken for the Harry S. Truman Sports Complex July 11th, 1968. Now, Royal Stadium, let me just get back here and tell you there's ground broken July 11th, 1968. Royal Stadium was inaugurated April 10th, 1973. Then $250 million renovation October 3rd, 2007. That was a huge deal and everybody got really excited about it. Can you believe it's already been that long? First home game April 10th, 2009 in that renovation. Lance Feaster is also live at Kauffman Stadium. Lance, what's your take? You like cheese too? <laughs> Love me some cheese. Let me tell you, I had nachos today, by the way, with some jalapenos. Mmm, good stuff. You should have some later, Krista. As for the current Royals, they're trying to get some work done on the field right now. They enjoy the home opener, but I tell you, it's a truly special time of year for the Royals alumni. Former Royals trot out every year before the home opener. It's a chance for them to get some well-earned love from the fans and also an opportunity to catch up with some of their old buddies. It is special. Uh, we do get to see each other, and it's like old home week. Uh, you know, we get here, and I'm the young guy again, and then, uh, you know, John's on me, or Marty, or somebody, so it is fun. The juices still flow every opening day. Um, this is my seventh one being out of the game, and it's still, you wake up in the morning knowing it's that special day, and these players know that, and we always say it's like Christmas. A lot of those Royals alumni are from the glory years of Kansas City baseball, and they just want this organization to get back to that level. Quite a few of them told me today they feel like Royals are just on the cusp of getting back to being competitive. They just got to get over that hump starting here today. They're trailing one nothing right now behind me at the K. For now, live at Kauffman Stadium, Lance Fieser, 41 Action News.